everyone, and welcome back to the Roger Roger Reviews channel, and today we're taking a look at the Star Wars Black series, makes Colleen from the Andor line. Looking at the front of the box, you get a digital render of the character, the name of the line the character is from, and their name down here. And on the side of the box, you get this amazing artwork of Bix, and like I mentioned before, By adding more figures from the same line, you can create a mural. So here's Bix alongside Luthen. And in the back of the box, you get another digital render of the figure, um, a description, the number of which it falls into the line, and much little warnings. And then here on the side, you get a visual look at the figure and the accessories that are included. The plastic free packaging little logo right here. And on the bottom you get a bunch of little warnings. And there's something on the top. But I'll go ahead and open it up and we see what's inside. Inside the packaging, instead of getting your usual um, plastic tray, which I'll show right here, instead you get the figure and the accessories inside of these little paper bags. So I'll go ahead and get out the figure and the accessories up here. And we can discard the cardboard. So I'll go ahead and unwrap the figure as she's inside of the paper burrito right here. <laughs> but here she is. Wow, that's awesome. Look at the amount of detail in her outfit. The photo real tech looks very nice. And I like her hair. We'll take a better look at that right now. And like I usually do, we'll go ahead and review from top to bottom. And starting off with the head, it looks amazing. Like the photo real tech for her it looks, you know, exactly like the actress. Her hair looks really neat. I like how she has, like, these um, two braids on the side. And then it's made of a softer plastic. And I like how this sort of, like, uh, you know, is on the side of her face. The hair looks very nice. And she does have a ball joint or uh, a joint here at the neck as well as the top of the head. So you get quite a bit of movement. Here side to side, all the way up, and all the way down. Looking at the torso, she has this sort of like vest, sort of like a shirt right here. Has some very nice detail going throughout it. Uh, almost like a mesh, sort of like pattern. And then of course the drapes right here in the front. And she does have like this um, beige undershirt. Looks very nice. And she does have a ball joint here at the waist. So here side to side, all the way back and forward. Look at the arms. The arm sticks out about there, goes all the way around. Her elbow goes up about there. She has a swivel here at the elbow. And then of course she does have articulation here at the wrist and at the hand, so you get some movement. The other side as well. Arm sticks out about there, goes all the way around. Her elbow goes up about there. She has a swivel here at the elbow. And then she does have articulation here at the wrist and at the hand, so you get quite a bit of movement as well. Look at the waist. She has this belt and she has some little like tools here on the side pouch. None of them are removable, but it does look very nice. Um, she does have this like silver bell buckle here in the front and the belt itself does come in a like chocolate brown color. So that's pretty cool. And she does have like this bottom part of her outfit. Um, it is made of a looser plastic. But I will get to this in a second because looking at her legs, she doesn't go into a swoop position and putting her legs out. She doesn't even go into a same position either, so that's kind of interesting. But the legs do go back about there. And she does have a swivel here uh, on her thigh. She does have like these gray pants underneath. And she does have um, a knee joint right here. And she knows pretty fine. And finally, looking at the boots, she does have these brown boots, and the feet do point down about there. They point all the way up, as you can see. And she does have rock wrinkles. So there's some cool action poses. And now we'll check out the accessories. Usually with these little baggies, that it has like a little strip up here which you can tear, but the main bag is you know pretty terrible. Or you know what I mean. <laughs> uh <laughs> you can then take out the accessories just like that. Everything should be out. Let me make sure about that. 
And yeah, everything is accounted for. So it comes with this like scanner piece. I think it's the one that she uses to contact Andor. Um, this is pretty cool. It comes separate with this little like uh, remote. Here's a better look at that accessory. Um, it isn't attachable with this piece, uh, the strap, but it does connect very nicely with this like giant screen. It has like this uh, little schematic here on the screen and it comes in this really bright yellow. So I was trying to figure out the accessories, but I just saw in the package that, you know, she just carries the uh, screen part right here and then she carries the phone or the remote on the other hand. So that's pretty much it as far as the accessories she comes with. So that was an overview of the figure. It's pretty rare that I say this, but unfortunately, this figure was a letdown. In my opinion, they could have done better with this figure. I mean, they could have at least given her, like, I don't know. I think she had fought one time, I think, on the season. But other than that, the figure is okay. I mean, visually looks, you know, great, like I mentioned before. The accessories are unique. Um, I don't like it because of the lower torso, uh, you know, like the bottom half of the figure, basically not being able to move properly. You cannot get a lot of fluid mo uh, motion with the uh, character. Her legs don't move as, or, you know, they don't move at all. And even though you are working with softer plastic, it still isn't going to cut it, especially with those movements if you want her to like run or something like that. She just, you know, stands around. That's pretty much it. But yeah, I don't really say that often, and unfortunately, I don't recommend this figure. But something to do at the end of these reviews is show you guys how to display figures, having the box in the back, and the figure in the front. But I'm going to leave it here, and say so if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And all this content you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.